Thank you, Councillor Philip Bell, for joining us at the Hilton Treetops in Aberdeen today. Um, first, I'd like to start by asking you to tell us a little bit about uh, why you're here today um, and what the conference is about. Well, thank you for inviting me to, uh, to talk to you. Aberdeen is all about uh, innovation, it's all about change, uh, and there has been much innovation and much change over the centuries. Um, the biggest change probably came from the oil industry arrival in, in the mid-70s. Um, but actually, uh, Aberdeen isn't just about uh, oil and gas, it's about innovation, it's about employing people, it's about being a good quality place to live, and hydrogen actually offers that, that op extended opportunity to grow the economy. We're doing lots of things in Aberdeen, um, and hydrogen is complementary, I believe, to what we already have. So people shouldn't be worried about hydrogen replacing oil and gas for those that are already in jobs? No, absolutely not. It's, it, it is complementary. Uh, and uh, Aberdeen has... Clearly we need to decarbonise the world. Um, and uh, the energy industry um, has, has brought a great amount of wealth to the city. Um, but uh, well, it, it's not forever. It's a finite resource. Hydrogen is an infinite resource if we do it properly. So as an ex-engineer who worked in the oil and gas industry for, for many years and managed successfully to diversify their career, um, what message do you have for, for people looking at this um, new hydrogen economy and how they might take advantage of that? Well, it's the future. Uh, and uh, if, you want, uh, if you want to be gainfully employed, then think long and hard about the hydrogen economy. I said a little earlier um, that uh, by 2050 it's predicted um, that uh, the economy will be worth two and a half trillion dollars a year. Every single year, it'll employ 30 million people. It'll power 18% of the world. That's a conservative estimate. What I've seen recently, what I saw at the Shifka conference in Dundee last Wednesday, that's very, very conservative. We've already got uh, commercial trains in Lower Saxony in Germany. Um, uh, Singapore are looking to develop a commercial uh, hydrogen-powered aircraft. Um, Aberdeen have got cars. They've got buses, they're looking to actually roll out hydrogen powered bicycles. Um, so just think about all the possibilities, think out of the box chaps, that's what we're told to do in the oil industry. So in your view, the, the, the labour force within the local market has a lot of reason to be very positive um, about this new opportunity? Absolutely, um, and a lot of people said, why are they building 31,000 houses in Aberdeen to house all these people who are going to work in this industry guys? In fact, we haven't got enough houses. Councillor Philip Bell, thank you very much for talking to Oil & Gas Vision, much appreciated. A pleasure.